In terms of <coughs> producing watercolours, I always feel it's best to leave the white of the paper uh, there, uh, not to paint over everything. The highlights will be shown coming through more clearly that way. So what I tend to do is start off with this particular portrait, uh, painting the eyes first, and leaving the highlights of the white of Ruben's daughter. Uh, and then everything else will become darker from that. You can paint the eyes lightly to start with the outline uh, and then gradually build up three-dimensional form uh, using the watercolour paints. I tend to put the darkest parts on gradually uh, and you'll find that that's the case as you gradually build up the darks will present themselves. I also tend to kind of use the washes in a way where the brush is following the three-dimensional form of the face rather than in some cases students just paint flat. We've been using contour lines and the brush strokes should marry into the contour lines, they should follow the contour lines around and if there's a problem some of the students I suppose could draw uh, the objects out first using the contour lines and then go around using the watercolour paints. You will get great depth the more tone, tonal value that you use and you can see Ruben's daughter's face here has a great variety of tone which follows the form which gives it more three-dimensional depth. Any mistakes which are made can be rapidly worked on with water and taken out very, very quickly. I didn't obviously do that, make any mistakes here, but I can show through a demonstration if there are problems in, in respect that somebody's put the paint down too thick or even put too much water down. You can just use a dry brush, wipe it off quickly uh, and not touch that area. Also, it's very important not to work wet on wet sometimes as the paint will drip. Uh, each area that you paint, you must leave and revisit maybe in four or five minutes and then you won't get the bleeding paint into one into the other which doesn't look good also.